Well, hello everyone, this is Bishop Deb, and I'm coming to you from Niagara-on-the-Lake, Ontario. As you can hear, I'm still down with a bit of a bug. It uh, comes and goes, but mostly it's gone, thank God. I'm recuperating, I guess, from the weekend where we had our huge ordination. It was fabulous, absolutely great, and I'm so proud of all the people that have come forward to be ordained. We had... Um, Four people uh, made priest, and six people made deacon. And all of their guests, family, and people. We had a big party afterwards. It was absolutely great. And so now their new adventure begins, and it's very exciting. It's an exciting time. So that's been occupying so much of my attention and time lately. The last few days have been nice because I, I've slept in. I've been able to just putter and... I'm trying to get through this virus and kick it to the curb once and for all. Catch up with my sleep, I guess. So I hope you had a good weekend and you are enjoying your day wherever you are in this big old world. Lots of things happening in the world for us to offer our prayers towards the ongoing terrorism stuff in, in uh, England and now France today. Across Europe, it's just so unsettled and, and people are fearful and, and who can blame them our prayers are needed more than ever for that and here in this sector of the world in North America there's always you know something happening coming up out of the U.S. that makes us shake our head and just things happening uh, in our communities and, and you know people in need people who are experiencing difficulties and tragedies and all those human nature condition kind of uh, experiences, we uh, we hold those in our prayers too. We remember anyone who's sick and with the seasonal um, afflictions or with something more serious, and we pray for anyone who has lost a loved one. Um, very, very difficult time uh, following somebody's death, and, and we hold those people near and dear to our hearts. So there's so many ways that we can express our support and our love, our concern. Even if it's only through prayer, we can pray for the world. We can send angels everywhere to help. We are not powerless. And we have everything available to us in this moment to assist with good, with blessings. So before my voice gives out or I have a huge cough, let's um, let's pray for the world and for our own needs and those of others. Let's pray. Gracious God, we give you thanks for the gift of this day, this new day full of promise and potential possibilities. We ask that you hallow it, that you bless it, and you bless us, that we would be ambassadors for love, that we would be moved to reach out and help people wherever we are, that we would in turn accept help when it's offered. Sometimes we think we have to be strong or we have to be alone or we have to be stoic. And really, part of offering love is also being able to receive it. So we pray today that we would be mindful of those who reach out to us with good intentions, with love, and accept their gift. We pray for the world and everybody in it, for people in Syria, for people in France, especially around Notre Dame, for people in England, in London and Manchester, in all the troubled places across Europe, across this planet. May your peace and your love be made manifest mightily right now. We pray for our own needs, the things that we don't know how they're going to resolve, the things that we hold close in our hearts that cause us worry and fear and anxiety. We ask today that you who know our hearts, who know our prayers, would send us resolution, answers, understandings, insights, 
so that we would be less fearful, that we could place our trust and our hope in you, knowing that you work on our behalf for our highest and best. And we pray for those people in our lives who need to know your healing touch. Those who are ill, those who are lonely, those who are struggling in any way, for those who are grieving, those who are finding their way in life. Help help them all to discover the way back to you, to certainty and to hope. Bring to them helpful, caring and friendly people who will be edified and their hearts would be become grateful and open to uh, better and better things. We give you thanks for all the blessings that you have shown us, for all the ways that you are manifest in our life. And we pray all of this in the name of your holy name. Amen. Well, I gotta tell you, I've gone this long without a cough and I'm grateful. I will um, be back on Spreaker in a couple of days, but know that uh, prayers go out to all of you, and I gratefully receive yours too. Take care, we'll talk to you soon.